Well, how's it going, folks? Chris Denny with Denny's Country Life. Uh, today is May 27th, uh, Memorial Day. So uh, we're going to be cutting hay today. Uh, first time ever using the uh, T4020 and the H6740 uh, disc mower. So this should be, a, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this should be a treat for me. Um, so just a quick side note, uh, happy Memorial Day to you guys. Um, that is today. And if you, if you all get a second, uh, say a prayer for the uh, families out there who have family members that are uh, uh, serving currently or if they uh, had lost a family member, I'm sure they could use the prayers. Uh, so today's 70, uh, I think it was 74 degrees earlier and it's only warmed up since then. I uh, got a slight breeze, so this is perfect haymaking weather. I got the mower all hooked up. So uh, yeah, we're gonna head out to the field, guys. Uh, today we're only gonna do about seven acres because I got uh, a lot going on uh, outside of this. So what the plan is, we're gonna do uh, seven acres this week, uh, seven acres next week, and then uh, it's uh, nine acres the uh, week after that. So that's assuming that the weather allows all that. So um, that's the plan. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go get to cutting. Daniel, the best of a night. 
right guys so the field is done uh it took me a whopping 40 minutes to cut about three and a half acres so that's a huge huge improvement over uh the old drum mower um i'm able to move faster a lot faster with this tractor uh the suspension seat the larger tires just makes makes everything so much nicer uh this mower performed just as it should uh, i'm real happy with it so uh like i said this is my first time mowing hay with this mower and this tractor uh so far guys i gotta tell you this is uh this is night and day difference from what i'm used to uh so uh there were no new rocks or large branches or anything like that that normally <laughs> you know you you stumble across by uh, smacking into it uh there's nothing like that uh i didn't even really get a chance to walk this field before but um yeah grass is looking pretty good it uh you know, a fair amount of buttercup, which is pretty pretty normal for me. I uh, last year I started calling myself the buttercup farmer. <laughs> there's just there's so much so much of it around here, and uh, I don't have a good way of eradicating them. Uh, I don't have a sprayer, and uh, that's uh, you know to spray uh, buttercup in my area, you, you have to have a certain type of soil almost because it. In, in order to get to it before it's it's full grown and bloomed uh, you have to get out in the field obviously and uh, I can't do that because the ground is so wet I would just make a total mess out of the fields um, that's one of the reasons I haven't made a sprayer uh, priority so uh, you know I, I could spray after first cut and uh, hopefully thin out some of the weeds so that is something I do plan on doing in the future I just uh, money's kind of tied up right now with other things so uh anyway guys uh this might be it uh i have another field to do another uh, four acres but i uh i'm not sure that i'm going to be taking the time to film just because i want to get it done and we have a barbecue to go at four o'clock so uh anyway uh happy memorial day to you guys thanks a lot for watching um hope all is well in your neck of the woods take care and stay tuned for the next video